Video Games Recap Ah, the AK-74U. Memories, memories. As with Black Ops 1 and most of the Call of Duty games, this gun is almost always beast. And thankfully, it doesn't disappoint in Black Ops 2 either, with it being the same as always, a high-powered submachine gun with its only downside being small magazines. Aside from the usual power and ammo increase, you also get a reflex sight and 40 rounds per clip, which is really helpful as the only bad thing about this gun is its small ammo capacity. The Chicon Burst Fire Submachine Gun can be quite a powerful weapon for zombies up until the later rounds. However, this thing literally hemorrhages ammo, making it practically useless. The story of the Pack a Punch Chicon is little different than before. Sure, it has more ammo and is more powerful firing 4 bullets instead of 3 each time but it still runs out of ammo way too quick. The MP5 is basically a replacement weapon for guns like the MP40 or MP5K. So, where does this gun sit, I hear you ask? Well, I would say somewhere in between. It doesn't seem to have the power of the MP40, or quite as ridiculous a rate of fire as the MP5K, which just eats through ammo. The Collider would be a great weapon, but it seems like the rate of fire gets increased once upgraded, and I just can't stop myself from caning through ammo. And with ammo costing 4,500 points, it just doesn't make good business sense in this economy. So, unless you've got lots of points but no ammo, and don't want to risk the mystery box, I would go with a different weapon. Anywho, I hope this was helpful. If so, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.